Right. I'm Claudia Dengler. Hello, and I'm Jan Plostra. What we do is we sell professionally and we, we work with clients. Generally, when a client buys a boat from Utrema, we will help them commission the boat, deal with the factory as well as the client, and then we will help them prepare it for an ocean crossing, sail with them, coach them, and uh, deliver it to their destination, usually the US. Or the Caribbean. Or the Caribbean. <laughs> from my side, I've done 39 Atlantic crossings. I've done uh, 340,000 miles, which is 12 times around the world. So, uh, and a lot of it has been on catamarans. So I've, I've done a fair amount of mileage. Claudia sailed a lot with yeah. me. And I've, I've worked on uh, transatlantic voyages with Jan, but I've also done a lot of monohull deliveries up on the Great Lakes and along the coast of um, the United States. We've also dealt with factories. Uh, we've done a lot of prototypes for various factories. The initial number ones to help them resolve their problems and we've dealt with a lot of clients. So we've got quite a wide, uh, varied uh, experience in boating. Well, w when we come and pick up the boat, um, we receive it on behalf of the owner, and we work with the factory to inspect all the finished work on the boat, test all the equipment, we take the boat out sailing, raise all the sails, test all the electronics, and make sure everything runs smoothly the way it should and that all the systems work together the way they're supposed to. And when there are issues that need to be resolved, we work with the factory to address the, the issue. And um, this factory has very good technical people in every category, whether it's the fiberglass people, the interior design and finish work, the refrigeration people, the electronics and electrical systems, the plumber. I mean, these are all people who are clearly very accomplished um, professional craftspeople. And they're very fun and nice to work with. They, um, despite the language barrier, many of them don't have much English and we don't have that much French. So it's been really um, sometimes a little bit of a struggle to communicate, but they are patient and very professional and, and really genuinely fun to work with. Yeah, I'd like to add to that. They are actually amazing people to deal with. They've been very, very good. Um, not only technically are they very, very good, but they've just very nice people to deal with. So it's actually been a pleasure working with the Utrama team. And the management too. We've done a lot of work with the upper management as they have become more and more interested in working with the American market. Um, the president of the company and all of his senior staff have also been really delightful to work with. Very knowledgeable and um, skilled executives and, and very fun people. The factory's actually been amazing in the way that they've dealt these are all hand-built boats, so you will have issues mm -hmm. with, with boats, which is normal. But the way that they deal with it and the way that they are prepared to, uh, to stand behind their product is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. they, are really, they, they really do stand behind the product. They, the, the assistance they give and the support they give after a person has bought the boat has been absolutely amazing. I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. That last time we were here, one of the people who works in the fiberglass department, a young woman, came on board and was inspecting the finished boat because she hadn't seen the finished boat since she worked on it. And you could just see she was so proud of the product. And, she, you know, when she introduced herself, she said, I built the boat. And I thought, well, that is wonderful to meet you, you know. It's just really, it's an unusual a kind of pride of workmanship and a real investment in the final product that you you don't see very often in any business and in, in yachting it's particularly um, rare to have that sort of personal commitment. Yeah, yeah. And Certainly is. It's almost like old world values. In the yeah. olden days when someone used to, a craftsman used to build something, he used to put his name on it because he was proud of the product. That's yeah. almost the feeling you get when you deal with Utrema. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I pull off a panel and someone's written his name on the back because that's almost the amount of pride that goes into the building of the boat. Yeah. Every person takes ownership of a little bit of the boat and that's why that lady yeah. came and she wanted to see because she felt that 
she owned the boat because she had put so much of her in there. So that's really awesome. This boat is really built for offshore work. You know, every little item you look at to the smallest detail, it's built for durability, strength, reliability. They have not taken a shortcut anywhere. It's, it's a seriously good offshore boat. It's not a compromise boat. So as a professional, I enjoy the quality of the boat. Have, liking performance and like being a, a sailor, I also enjoy a boat that goes well and goes fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Ultramar is one of the best. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it performs right up there with the best boats in the world. It goes incredibly well. It's a great, great and nice boat to mm -hmm. sell. Maybe mm -hmm. you've got something mm -hmm. to add. The size of shackles, the quality of the the lines and rigging and just the things that really make the boat a blue water boat. Um, they, you clearly, they've thought through every uh, capacity of this boat to withstand the rigors of ocean voyaging. And so it's particularly nice to sail with that reliability behind you. And the boat has a very pleasant motion. I mean, the structural design of the boat means that the, the bridge deck is high enough that you don't pound in the waves and the dagger boards give you the kind of control and close quarters uh, that you need. So they've just done a lot of things to make this not only a very beautiful and livable boat but a really uh, rugged vessel that sails comfortably and, and sails beautifully. She's just, we've spent thousands of hours sailing these boats and in not always perfect conditions. <laughs> so I can tell you that, um, that the boat just sails brilliantly. Well, um, it's most probably one of the <laughs> fastest boats I've sailed. Yeah. Um, all the way through uh, um, the different conditions and different points of sail. Mm -hmm. It's an incredibly quick boat. It sails very well with very little effort. It's not a hard boat to sail. It's, mm. uh, it's very kind. It responds well to, to input. And uh, generally all around, as I say, it's one of the top performers uh, uh, in the market today. Yeah. She's fast. <laughs> She's fast. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a pleasure to sail. And the nice thing is, you know, when she's sailing fast, you don't feel that you're pushing her too close to the edge. She sails fast, but she sails very solid. And even at what we would consider very high boat speed, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18 knots. That's a lot of speed on a boat. And um, you still feel very secure on this boat. She just hangs on to her groove and goes. And um, that's unusual in a catamaran, to, I mean, to, and even monohulls, you know, they, first of all, they don't go that fast generally if they're this size. and. Uh, so anyway, it's, a, it's really a fun boat to sail and comfortable even when she's going fast, which she does often. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she's a great compromise because mm -hmm. it, not only is, is she a, a great performer, so you're buying a performance boat, she's luxurious, yeah. she's safe. These are all the things that the clients want and expect and, and, and pay for. And uh, it actually delivers on, on all the different uh, mm -hmm. levels that, uh, that are the client's requirements. So it's a, it's a great boat. Bon anniversaire. <laughs> well, just keep doing what you're doing because yeah. you're doing it right. Yeah. And, and they're, you know, the other thing about them is that their ethics are really good. We were talking with the owner of the company about racing. Uh, one of the boats in an upcoming event and um, it's well known that there's a lot of uh, turning on of motors during this race because people aren't under close observation and you know we kind of wondered how badly do you want to win <laughs> and he said we'd never give up our ethics to win and you know so here they are they're, they're clearly committed to performance and yet they would never compromise their ethics to win and I don't think they'd compromise their ethics to to do anything uh, other than what they felt was the right thing to do for their boats and their customers and that kind of uh, allegiance to a set of values about the company how the company operates and what they're based on is I hope something they can hang on to for a long time 
Okay. Definitely, I agree with that. Yeah. They, they do, uh, they, they have a good high standard and they, they stick to it no matter yeah. what. And that's great. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, bon anniversaire, outre-mer. <laughs> very best with your first 30 years and a very good next 30 years to you. We really wish you well. <laughs> All right. <laughs>